When we're in that energy of needing or wanting or even desire, which is something the council talks about, getting to the place of what you want and what you need is there when you need it, knowing that you have everything you need and more. And they often talk about our desires and our desires of our soul, but we're expanding beyond that. We feel much different energy than when we are inspired, feeling creative, excited, doing what brings us joy and doing what we love. You are creator within your own creation. This goes back to the question, who are you becoming? What are you becoming? What is even grander than a master? You are living in the time that you have chosen of the greatest transformation of human consciousness into the pure love that you are, into knowing the powerful creator that you are, into knowing how worthy you are. Hello and welcome to the Journey of the Master podcast as we kick off 2023. I'm Sarah Landon and I'm so excited to be here with all of you. Hello, hello. Thank you for being part of our community and thank you for joining us for this episode of Journey of the Master. The energy of this year, the energy of this time is all about becoming and becoming everything you wish to be. If you have been part of the Council's Wisdom for a while, you know one of their foundational teachings is you are everything you wish to be. You already are. It is all within you and it always has been and we are always becoming, and we are always in this process of expansion and becoming more. So that is what we're going to talk about today, and I love this conversation. In fact, diving into this over the last few weeks and getting ready for our new course, which starts on January 17th, we have been playing with this energy of becoming. In fact, the new course is called Becoming Everything You Wish to Be 20. 23. You can find out more information about that on the link below. But we're going to talk about how we really step into this becoming. And I'm going to give you a couple tips and tools for tapping into what you are becoming and who you are becoming. And then we're going to bring in the council for a message for all of us. I am so excited to share them with you. If you are new to me or the council, I channel a group of Ascended Master Beings that we refer to as the Council. Channeling is a very natural experience. We all do it from time to time, whether it is an athlete or a musician that's in the zone, or you have this moment where you're talking with someone and they say, what did you say? And you don't even know where it came from, but these words just came through you. And some of us experience automatic writing or journaling that is an experience of channeling higher wisdom, source energy. And some people like me actually verbally channel, and that is the experience of the council. If you have never experienced it, I encourage you to stay with us and experience their incredible love and wisdom. And if you've been part of our community for a while, which I know many of you have, hello, hello to all of you. Oh my gosh, good to have you all here with us today. If you've been part of our community, you know that the Council's profound and life-changing wisdom is just out of this world. <laughs> so let's talk about becoming. Think about what that really means. To me, it is beyond needing something or wanting something. To me, it's beyond even motivation. The council often explains to us that motivation is often coming from this energy of avoiding an unwanted circumstance. So we're motivated to do and do and do all these things, but all of that is coming from lack. All of that is coming from limitation or fear or avoiding some unwanted circumstance. Becoming to me is something so much deeper. And when we're in that energy of needing or wanting or even desire, which is something the council talks about, 
getting to the place of what you want and what you need is there when you need it, knowing that you have everything you need and more. And they often talk about our desires and our desires of our soul, but we're expanding beyond that. And I think coming into this place of really understanding that we are creators within our own creation, that we are here to choose the experiences that we want to have. We get to choose, not just want. Choosing is different than wanting. Choosing is different than needing. I believe that many of our, what you would call desires or dreams, are actually placed in our awareness or our consciousness by our soul or that grander part of us that truly knows what our highest potential is. I think back to many different things in my life that I have dreamed of achieving or dreamed of having, which came from a very different place then when I connect into the dream in my heart, I don't know where it came from. I have many visions of who I want to become, and I don't know where they came from. And you probably have the same experience. I can look back at some of the things in my life that led me to want something different or need something different. But this energy of becoming is knowing that your soul or your higher self has placed within you, within your heart, within your imagination, within your consciousness, the inspiration of more that is possible for you, that anything really is possible for you and that we come into the realization of that through this process of expansion. And I really like to focus on expansion. I recognize that many times we're focused on healing or fixing and there's nothing wrong with that. But when we really align to our wholeness, our completeness, our perfection, and expand from that place into all that we are becoming. It's a very different energy. And I just bring all of this to us today so that we can begin to move into the awareness of fully becoming everything you wish to be. I wanna ask you some questions. And if you're in a place that you can close your eyes, that might feel good to you. Or if you're walking or driving and can't do that, just listen to the sound of my voice and sort of follow the energy of this, but take a moment and just become really present. Take some deep conscious breaths. In fact, this is the perfect time to practice taking three deep conscious breaths. There's something that happens when I always take that first breath. I'm like, oh, so annoying. This doesn't work. (laughs) I take the second breath and I'm like, Okay, fine. Yeah, you're right. I do feel a little bit better. By the third breath, I'm like, oh, (laughs) there I am again. So take three conscious breaths and move your awareness from your head down into your heart. Find that peaceful, light, uplifting place within your heart. Move your awareness from your head down into your heart. You maybe even imagine a staircase from your head, walking down, walking down into your heart, this beautiful, sacred place. And from this energy of your heart, where your dreams are held safe, where your soul has planted the seeds for all that you are. Go into the energy of your heart where anything is possible. The part of you that already knows. And ask yourself the question, who am I 
becoming? Who am I becoming? Who am I becoming? And now ask yourself, what am I becoming? What am I becoming? What am I becoming? Just take a couple of moments and really feel into whatever came to you as you ask those questions. Feel what it would feel like. Feel what inspires in you as you reflect on the answers to those questions. What am I becoming? Let yourself feel into that for a moment. Really feel it in every cell of your body. And I would encourage you to write down whatever came to you. Write down whatever answers came to you. Maybe it surprised you. Maybe you have no idea how you might become what it is that you heard or the answer that came to you. Whatever it is, it's perfect. But the more you shift your awareness to this question and to these questions, whichever resonates more with you, who am I becoming or what am I becoming? Just allow yourself to be aware. Ask yourself this question. If this is the year, 2023, where you have chosen to realize your biggest dream and become everything you wish to be, what does that look like for you? What does that feel like? And it's not about fixing anything. You're already whole. You're already perfect and complete, yet We're always expanding and becoming more, more of all that we are, where there's more joy, more love, more peace, more harmony, more freedom. I have to share that when I first did this exercise, it was very much inspired. And the answer that came to me, which is not a word I would ever think of, uh, not something I thought of. And it was actually quite surprising to me. What came to me is a priceless treasure. A priceless treasure. And I felt into the energy of that. What does that mean? And even more so, I thought, gosh, I wish every person I know and everyone that I love and all people could know that they are a priceless treasure. You really are. You are a priceless treasure. And when we allow ourselves into the energy of what we are becoming, whatever that answer was to you, you begin to see not only it in others around you, or it reflected back to you in your experience, but you start to feel everything that's not aligned to that peeling away and falling away. Who would we all be if we knew that we were this priceless, priceless gift to the world? Because you are, you really are, you really are. And it's priceless. That means there's no limit on your abundance. That means there's no limit on your well-being. That means there's no limit on your freedom. No limit on the love. Priceless. That is what you are. And I'm excited to hear from each of you. Share in the links below. Share in the comments. And let us know what came to you when I asked those questions. Who are you becoming or what are you becoming? 
comment on the link below, comment below, let us know. I'd love to hear and celebrate what you are all becoming. And if we can just imagine that no matter when you're listening to this, every single one of us are expanding all that is possible as we let ourselves come into the inspiration of who or what we are becoming. And have some fun with this. You can choose. Maybe what you put in the comments is what you are choosing to become. Because one of the things we're really shifting into now is getting beyond that needing, getting beyond wanting, to really choosing. Choosing the life you want to live, choosing who you want to become, choosing the experiences you want to have. You are free. You really are. And you have everything you could ever need here available to you in your field of consciousness all around you to be everything you wish to be, especially (laughs) in 2023. Oh, I'm so excited for our incredible upcoming course. If you want to join us on January 17th for the first live session of Becoming Everything You Wish to Be 2023, we're going to dive so deep into this conversation, into this topic, and get the council's channeled wisdom on how we can realize our destiny, step into our future, summon the energy that is here for you, and so much more. One of the things I most look forward to in this course is really coming to that place of truly mastering our thoughts, mastering our stories, mastering our awareness to such a level that we can perceive beyond where we've ever been before and come into a grander perspective of all that we are in our life, really, and unleash the magic of the entire universe in our lives. It's going to be an amazing experience. So I hope you will join us. You will find a link below, or you can go to sarahlannon.com to register for Becoming. But put your comments down below. We want to hear your answers to those questions. Who are you becoming? What are you becoming? Have some fun with it. Keep it top of mind as you go throughout the upcoming days and weeks and just see what it inspires within you. We had some really good questions submitted, and I just want to share them with all of you. And then we're going to bring in the council for their incredible message for us for this time, for 2023, for this moment, uh, which will be awesome. So one of the questions was, my fears and efforting arise when it comes to allowing the energy of money into me through my business. Do you have any guidance? I think this is a great question. The fears and the efforting arise when we're trying to allow the energy of money. And I would make a little shift here because money is an energy. Really, truly, it is an energy. It is energy. It's a form of energy. It is an energy. So when you're trying to push and force and make something happen in your business, chances are you're not feeling a whole lot of energy in that moment. And when you're in fear, we feel much different energy than when we are inspired, feeling creative, excited, doing what brings us joy and doing what we love. So when you infuse that energy into everything you're doing, but specifically here, your business, the energy you're in when you're creating anything is really what you're offering to the world in your products or your services. So is that energy love, inspiration, joy, creativity, excitement, passion? Or do you want to put the energy of fear and efforting into what you're creating? Because chances are it probably will not be as magnetic or attractive to a potential client as you wrapping that energy of joy and love and inspiration in whatever you create. In my experience, when we do that, you will find abundance in all areas of your life and you really will open up and start allowing that abundance in every area of your life. I believe 
joy and love and inspiration and passion is a magnet for abundance. And I wish you tremendous luck in your business and blessings and so much joy. So I hope that was helpful. Someone asked the question, I regularly love to listen to um, things on my iPhone and funny shows on TV, but it's this person's understanding that they should limit TV or limit their iPhone use. Uh, their phone is the way they connect with this wisdom and with like-minded people. Is it best to reduce or eliminate TV or iPhone use? I actually don't think it has anything to do <laughs> with the TV or the iPhone. I think it has to do with your consciousness level. And many times uh, we can watch a TV show and be conscious, be present, feel expanded, feel inspired, feel empowered, feel uplifted. And that's a wonderful thing. You might literally walk away from that TV show or that movie and come away with an inspiration of something in your life that would not have been inspired within you if you hadn't watched that show or that movie. And I can think of some several examples in my own life of things that really inspired me that I saw on TV or in a movie. The same is true with your phone. If you're listening to something that is inspiring you and expanding your awareness and uh, bringing you into a new level of what's possible for you, that's awesome. If you are texting with someone you love and making smiley faces and happy faces and it's joyful, well, that feels really good, right? So be aware of how watching TV and what you're watching makes you feel and how being on your phone makes you feel. I personally think it's the level of consciousness you're in and the joy and the love that you're feeling. It's essentially neutral, right? You're the one that's giving it meaning. So what meaning are you giving it? And how are you using it as a tool in your life to feel greater joy or greater love or greater connection? So I hope that's helpful. Really good question. Um, Someone asked I, about retirement um, and they have less retirement than they thought. They uh, retired recently and they are trying to, to see how things will work out best because they are older and they cannot do what they would necessarily want to do. And so this person retired, their retirement's not what they thought they were. You maybe can't do some of the same things that you did at a different age. But that doesn't mean you're not a priceless treasure and extremely valuable and very worthy and passionate and creative and inspired. So I, I know many people who have retired. I know many people who have left corporate jobs. I know many people that have left the career they were in for many years. But you don't have to retire. You can still create you can still do what you love. You can still do things that bring you joy. And when you really connect back into that, there's so many ways. It may even be something you're inspired to do as a volunteer. It may be something that seems like a small project and you don't know how abundance is gonna flow, but a connection comes from it or an opportunity opens up for it or some idea for something you could create comes from it. But be open to any and all things. Just because you retire doesn't mean you're not still creating and inspired and bringing energy into you and, and creating with that energy in physical form. I would get back to creating. Find some ways to create in your life and you'll create all sorts of ways for abundance to flow to you. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, another question of moving in with my 97-year-old mo mom because our family uh, choices uh, are limited. And this person says, I believe I'm saving my family money um, that would be used on my mom's care by moving in with her and taking care of her. Uh, why do I have a sister who doesn't see this and only sees my moving interfering with her relationship with our mother? I want to know how to show up for her. So 
We recently had a similar question to this uh, in one of our master's class calls. And the answer that the council gave was so powerful. And so begin by accepting all possible outcomes here. All possible outcomes. Even though your mother is 97 years old, she is still powerful. She is still a powerful creator of her life and her experience. Your mother is creator within her own creation, as is your sister, as are you. And sometimes we may think we know the best way and we get really attached to that and anything other than that creates resistance. The first step is accepting. Accept what is and all potential outcomes and possibilities. Maybe moving in with your mom isn't the highest outcome. Maybe it is. Maybe your sister will embrace it. Maybe there's another option. Maybe who knows? Accept all possibilities and just accept. Let go of it from a place of intentional, proactive choosing of your own peace and your own inner harmony. That comes first. The council tells us that the instant manifestation of acceptance is peace. Bring yourself into peace around this whole situation first and foremost. And then let the energy and the light guide the way. You may approach your sister very differently once you can find a place of total acceptance and peace for this. And this can be done in any situation. Acceptance is a intentional, intentional choosing to align with peace and to bring yourself into a place of peace so that the highest potential and the highest possibility can actually present itself to you. And then let the energy and the light guide the way for you. I hope that's helpful. (laughs) I love this last question that I'm going to share because it goes along perfect with what we're talking about. If you are part of the council's work and even this podcast is called The Journey of the Master, really understanding that you are the master of your life, your thoughts, your experience, your reality, We recently did a live channeled call with the council called What the Master Knows. And there is a insights uh, in our blogs under free resources from this channel called What the Master Knows. You can go to free resources at sarahlannon.com and read that. It's available to you. But there were so many things that the master knows and really coming into the place of You are the master. You get to choose. You get to choose. I believe we're making this transition in our awareness from the limited human to understanding the master that we are. And this question is, can we expand into being grander than a master? (laughs) To which I would say, You are the master. (laughs) You get to choose. Or the council tells us the answer to every question is you are everything you wish to be. You already are. And the answer to every question is you are creator within your own creation. This goes back to the question, who are you becoming? What are you becoming? What is even grander than a master? That is the experience you may want to choose. Whatever that answer is for you. Living as a goddess in form. Living as an ascended master. uh, One who has a greater connection to the infinite intelligence in all of the universe. You know, whatever, whatever that answer is for you. I think the inspiration of 
bringing you into who you want to become is a pretty magical and powerful experience. And again, if there's an experience you want to have, choose it. Maybe you have never known what it's like to feel youthful and energetic in every moment. Maybe that's what you are becoming. Vivacious love. Maybe that's what you are becoming. Fabulously wealthy. Maybe that's what you are becoming. Mm, an inspired creator. Maybe that's what you're becoming. Totally satiated in every moment. Maybe that's what you are becoming. Hmm. Free. Maybe that's what you're becoming. Completely free. Or totally in harmony. Whatever it is for you, you get to choose. So play around with becoming. Join us for our new course, Becoming Everything You Wish to Be 2023. We're so grateful to have you as part of our community, to have you here with us. And as the council said, here with us as they so often remind us that we are the council here on earth. So I'm going to bring them in for a message for all of us here. As I said, if you're new to this, just let yourself receive the energy and the activation in their message to us. When I channel, I close my eyes, I take about three deep breaths, and the council will begin with a message for us. And my experience is I, I'm conscious, I'm aware of what they're saying. I close my eyes because it is... <laughs> what helps me to go so much deeper into receiving the message. There is so much they want to bring in, not only vibrationally, but in their words and in their wisdom. And for me, it just helps me to close my eyes to really focus on bringing through what their message is for us. And when they are complete, we will close out this message. Uh, as a reminder, share with us in the comments below who and what you are becoming. We want to hear from you. Join us for our new course starting on January 17th and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more episodes of Journey of the Master. So here we go. We are so pleased and delighted to have the opportunity to speak with you all on this fine and glorious day indeed. We remind you that while our words to you are important, this is a vibrational experience of remembering the truth of who you really are and why you are here and all that you intended when you chose this magnificent life experience because we assure you, life is meant to be so very good for you. Indeed, this time is the year that you have chosen to come fully into all that is possible for you and live the grandest experience of all that you are. And yes, your life will expand. And yes, there will be more. But you have been on this journey of becoming all that you are. Every step of the way, you were guided, you were loved, you were supported. You are not a moment too late or a moment too soon. This has all been so divinely orchestrated for you and by you. The biggest dream coming true was no accident, was no random or lucky accident you chose you have chosen the highest expression of all that you are 
to move into physical form in this form, in this way, as this big dream, as this grandest manifestation that you can imagine. You are a powerful creator and you have drawn to you this experience to see how truly powerful you are. You are. You never were the struggle. You never were the hard work. You never were the effort. And there's no judgment from our side ever. You never were the lack you experienced. You never were your limitations. And you were never separate from all that you are and all that is here for you. But hmm, some of the most exciting times of your life are those moments right before the grand manifestation presents itself to you. Even when it is expected and you know the moments leading up to it, the excitement, that is the feeling of being alive. That is how you're meant to feel in every moment. Take that energy into every moment of this magical unfolding. It's magical, but it's not lucky. You created it. And when we say nothing will stop you from doing what you're called to do when you're called to do it, oftentimes you think some particular efforting or action you need to take, but it's so much lighter and more beautiful and more fun and more playful than that. Nothing will stop you from being where you're called to be. Nothing will stop you from becoming everything you wish to be. Nothing will stop you from calling in your dream. Nothing will stop you from calling in the highest expression of all that you are. Nothing will stop you from being who you are called to be. Enjoy. Savor. Be fully satiated in the manifestation and the creation of your big dream of becoming. The events of your life, when you look back at them, you can see them. You can see how everything led to this moment, this now. And if you can allow yourself to see them, not so much in a linear fashion, but as the expansion of consciousness, the expansion of a consciousness that allows more particles of infinite creation, the expansion of infinite creation that allows more and more and more to become possible for you in ways that it wasn't before. And you can look into that circular, expansive field of consciousness and see how divinely orchestrated every moment was, how perfect it all was. And aren't you so happy it didn't happen one moment sooner. The perfect time for your big dream to move into full manifested form. And you can stand in the moment, 
See how far you've come. See that you have become everything you wish to be. And from here, it just expands and gets better and better and better. You are living in the time that you have chosen of the greatest transformation of human consciousness into the pure love that you are, into knowing the powerful creator that you are, into knowing how worthy you are. You are. So, experience yourself as the powerful creator you are, creating with all that is, dancing, playing, creating with all of the universe and all that is here for you. It was never separate from you. As you feel excitement, as your dream comes true, as you manifest and create in levels you've never experienced before, slow everything down, slow down, become more still and you will be more powerful, become more still you will be more clear. Become more still and it will just be choiceless. As everything speeds up and gets exciting, bring yourself fully into this moment. Slow everything down. Come into your power. You are everything you wish to be. You already are. We are always with you. We are always available to you. You are everything you wish to be. Allow yourself to be totally satiated in the becoming of all that you are. Slow down. Find the stillness. Find the peace. Come into harmony. Let the energy and the light guide the way. You are so powerful. You are so guided. You can't get this wrong. Know that you will know the next perfect step in every moment. Allow it to be choiceless as things get so exciting for you. Slow down. Find stillness. Come into the moment. Allow yourself to be totally satiated in this moment. Let the next step come to you. Let the energy and the light guide the way. Let it be choiceless. Experience yourself in a new way, in a new power, in this new energy, in this dream. Come true, dear master. We love you, we love you, we love you. And with that, we are complete. So just take a moment and let that all soak in. The energy, the awareness. Don't try to figure it out. Just feel it. Thank you for being here for the Journey of the Master podcast episode today. Have fun in the incredible experience of becoming. Wishing you the best day, the best month, the best year ever. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more podcasts and more videos and more channel messages from the council, as well as going to sarahlandon.com for many more free resources, courses, or join our advanced master's class program. 
It's truly a joy to do what I love and share the council with all of you. Thank you for being here. We love you, this incredible community. Please share your comment below. Who or what are you becoming? Have a great rest of your day. Bye, everybody.